So what should anybody do before buying anything? What do we need to know? So we're starting with September. Okay. So in September, you're going to want to look at appliances. So things like a blender, a microwave, a toaster. What's so great is that new models come out in September, and so it's out with the old, in with the new, but you can save on the old, so it's a great time to buy. Okay, let's see how much you can save on appliances right now. So this is appliances, and this is how much you can save. 30%, really? Yes, uh, upwards of 30%. Just because the new stuff's coming in. Yeah, so they want to get rid of the old things. So even the old things might just be a few months. Yeah, and, and how, I mean, really, how much different is it going to be, you know, the older model than the newer model? It's exactly. Probably, yeah, probably the same thing. What's up next? So travel. Holiday travel. Yes, yeah, so holiday travel, we know it to be notoriously expensive. So if you're wanting to save, really, no, September is really the last month where you're going to save significantly on holiday travel. Okay. So you want to hit up websites like Expedia, Orbit, or whatever your favorite travel website is, and, and book your ticket now. Is it too late to get a good deal? It's not too late, but you don't want to wait until October, November. Okay, let's see how much we can save here. 60%? Yes. Right? And if you're willing to travel a few days before or a few days after your ideal date, you can save even more. Wow, that's incredible. Okay, what about bikes? So bikes are super seasonal, like a grill or patio furniture or a lawnmower. They're really sold mostly in the summertime. So if you're wanting to buy a bike for, say, somebody for the holidays, maybe you're buying your son or your daughter a bike, it's a really great time to buy it now because you're going to save significantly because you're going to get rid of summer stuff and start buying those fall things. How much will you save if, if you buy a bike this weekend? So if you buy a bike this weekend, you can save upwards of 40%. 40%? Yes. That's good. That's good. Now, what should you, uh, should you buy in October? So October is my favorite month, not just because it's my birthday month, but because it's jeans saving month. Okay, this is incredible to me because I didn't realize that there were months that you could save yes. on different items. Yes, sometimes it's really just when retailers buy things, but when it comes to jeans, you can save significantly. So recently, I just started this plant-based diet and I lost 15 pounds. You look amazing, bro. Thank you. Amazing. And in August and September, we all know that to be back to school month. Right. And so after back to school month is over, the number one item left over in retail stores are jeans. Mm. So they're trying to get rid of these jeans so they can buy new inventory. So if you're really wanting to try a new pair of jeans, October is the month to do it. All right, let's see how much you can save if you hold out till October on jeans. Really? Yes, significant discount. Is this surprising to you guys? It's surprising to me too. Now, this one really surprised me. Wedding dresses in November, why? Yes, well think about when brides like to get married. Spring and summer, right? So November is a really slow season for the wedding industry. So if you want to get a dress, a venue, maybe you want to get favors, November really is the month to do it. And you get a jump on the new brides who are going to be getting their engagement rings in the holiday season time. You know, everybody gets engaged on Valentine's Day or Christmas. You know, so if you want to get your dress a little bit cheaper, start in November. You're like a sorceress. Yeah. <laughs> you're, like a, you're like a good witch. Yeah. It's, it's with magical powers. Yes. It's, it's amazing. Now, uh, how much could you save if you, if you buy your dress in November? So you could save upwards of 30% if you're willing to buy, even if you're getting willing to get married in November. So you save even more than that. Boy, that's amazing. Now, computers and TVs. Yeah, so I wait until November to buy all of my major electronic items. Here's okay. why. Well, here's two reasons why. One, Black Friday. Two, Cyber Monday. Mm. So you're going to save huge on those two days. So if you're willing to wait like I am, you can have significant discounts. Boy, that's and great. even better, on Black Friday, you don't even have to go into stores anymore because most of those deals are still online. Incredible. Uh, I'm dying to see what this one is. 40%. Yes. That's up, huge. Up the are expensive. Exactly. So the, the huge okay. thing about saving is this, is that before you spend your money on anything, there's really four questions you should ask yourself. Do I need it? Do I love it? Do I like it? Do I want it? Because just because it's on sale doesn't mean you should buy it. Because buying something that's on sale that you weren't going to buy anyway really isn't saving, right? right? right. So we want to be very mindful that our spending is in alignment with our values. Good witch, you're amazing. <laughs> Thank you're amazing. you. <laughs> Tiffany Alice, Thank you. For all the Tiffany's tips. And if you have any tricks for saving money, go to harrytv.com. We'll be right back. That's amazing.